Welcome back again. You're still watching us here on Nile Cruise. We are in Old Cairo near the Citadel at the Sultan Hassan Mosque, and it's a very specific, significant, traditional area. And uh, speaking of Egypt and the love for Egypt, and it's always very inspiring to see young generations, and specifically of the females. I'm not going to be shy to say I support very much women and females, but seeing how they're very inspired and turning their energy into a positive perspective for the love of their country. And um, because youth are very much accommodated with using social media and they know the importance and the influence of using social media, um, we're going to be interviewing young girls here who are actually very much full of love for their country, um, but they just needed actually the, the right opportunity to be able to show their passion for their country. And through that, they decided to uh, initiate um, a page um, called Taste for Egypt, if I'm uh, uh, correct, and uh, we'll get to know more about what this page is about, when was it first established, and how about were they inspired uh, to come up with this page, and um, where do they see the future um, of reaching their goals from establishing such a move. Um, we have three bright girls. I'm going to start with the left, Angelina, Gamal uh, Londi, if I pronounce that right. Uh, thank you for joining me. Marina, uh, Sharubim, if I pronounce that right as well. Excuse me, and it's Raf Fauzi Mahmoud. Um, you all are tour guides, and you're also a member of Taste Egypt Initiative. Wow. Where did you come up with that? Tell me all about it, girls. We uh, we started the beach from uh, from uh, from two months, uh, and um, the idea uh, come uh, came uh, during the coronavirus. Uh, we uh, we 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 just quarantined, so we might as well as use the internet, right? <laughs> uh, so we discussed to make something uh, to uh, to. Um, to make people uh, know uh, our country and uh, to know our um, monuments and uh, archaeological sites and the historical um, historical sites um, more than um, before, uh, and uh, to make um, uh, to make uh, a better image <laughs> for for so. Uh, uh, let, let me ask you also, Angelina, Angelina, right? Um, um, how many followers have you started in two months? How many, how many followers have uh, you collected? We have right, we have right now like uh, 2,000 and more than, uh, like 2,222, exactly, okay. uh, in like two months and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we was, firstly, we get a lot of encouragement and support from the people. Uh, they was like the idea. Uh, while we was staying at home pulled from the quarantine time, uh, we decided that why we didn't start our dream. Uh, when we was at college time, we just think that, uh, what about if we ending the college, how we will meet again? Uh, we will never meet each other every day like the last days. So we decide to make a small group or something like that work together uh, so we can uh, meet to, uh, each other more time than the first time. That's right. So tell us more about the nature of the activities on your page, Isra. What, what is it about videos, photos, experiences? What is your goal and target here? Um, now we, um, we post uh, posts about Egypt and um, uh, heritage and everything about Egypt. And also we, um, uh, we make videos about Egypt also and post it on YouTube. That's very interesting. So you have a YouTube, uh, YouTube channel, channel as well. Yes, yeah. it's called All to Taste Egypt. Taste Egypt. So if I hashtag Taste Egypt, I'll see all this. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's talk more about the authenticity of these videos. Um, what are they? Just um, random videos? Um, are they like short documentaries? I mean, you should have a plan. Or was it just an idea? Let's create a page and see how it goes. W what's your take on that, Marina? No, we should sure have a plan. We started uh, talking about the... Uh, trap of the Holy Family because we opened the page like in the day of the ha trap of pro for the Holy Family. Uh, so the first video was about the trap of the Holy Family. So we decided to make a separate uh, series for each one of our of father. Uh, I take like the streets. I talk about the stories of the streets. Uh, I make one about Kafra Abdu and why it's named Kafra Abdu while it have a lot of palaces and there were a princess lived there. So what about the name Kafra Abdu came from? And also my friend Isra. Uh, me, I, uh, I talk the, uh, about uh, formation about uh, cities. 
لايك سوهاج بلد المواويل واي واي افري Every body called Suhag Balad al Mawil. Uh, and Marina, uh, take another uh, series. Uh. Yeah, uh, I'm speaking about stories, about um, the slogans that we use uh, from the past, and we don't know why they use these um, uh, words. So I'm speaking about this topic. So let me let me get this straight again. You are graduates, and um, um, you're you're planning to pursue a career in tour tourism. And uh, as young ladies still pursuing their career at the beginning of their lives, you wanted to take a different turn than the ordinary traditional uh, yeah, mean. Yeah. Uh, we are fresh graduated. Yes, but why I asked you that is um, not because you're fresh. I mean, I'm, you do look fresh. <laughs> but I mean, I'm asking you because uh, when you want to give information to the uh, people about certain places, you want to ensure that uh, you double check the history and the accuracy of information. Yeah. So it's not just a Google thing. It's something you've no, already been taught. we have books and information and also we are a student in the faculty of tourism and hotels guiding department so it's our studying the it's guiding studying. careers and that stuff so we have a lot of books about this <laughs> we take do you have a plan college. like do you know like is it a daily sort of post is it monthly is it weekly what's your plan on what basis do you choose the places um, tell us more about the strategy of how you're running this uh, mini project if I may say now Um, we uh, post about two videos, uh, once, uh, two videos a week, and also we uh, post about four uh, posts uh, every week uh, about different topics. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and also we talk about the unique places uh, that uh, people didn't uh, know about uh, them. Uh, we need to um, to see uh, to see the uh, beautiful of Egypt to to, uh, to everyone. To, uh, to test the beautiful of Egypt. Who chooses the topics? Um, do you do like a poll where people vote on what they want to know? Uh, or do you do it as form of admin administration uh, running this page? Um, I also want to know about the interaction that's going on, uh, which I'm sure this is your main target of how you get a two-way communication in this. Tell us more about it, Angelina. We're trying to choose posters that attract people, so we uh, gather and then discuss many topics and we choose the most beautiful one and the most attractive to the people. Uh, we didn't yet start to, to make polls or something to like this, but we decided to make it. And uh, we want to make like uh, a little or a small tour in uh, the sites, like this site. We talk and uh, explain the site for the people. Uh, and we decide to make a poll, uh, make the people choose the side they want to see and they want to know about it. That's very interesting. So I'm going to give you one minute for you to tell me, uh, uh, well, I'm going to give you over one minute, two minutes for each of you uh, all together to, if you would uh, post this and uh, we want to let people know about where we are, what are the most important valuable information that you would want to have people know about the place where we're located now? Would you start? Uh, okay, now we are in uh, the Madrasa and Mosque of Sultan Hassan. Um, uh, this, uh, this site is very important. As you can see, it's a very huge Madrasa. And at the time, the uh, Madrasas was very important and very famous. And they uh, taught the children, uh, the Sunni and Shia, and, and many uh, topics of Islamic um, teaching and also uh, different topics like um, um, uh, medicine, medicine and physics and chemistry That's and so interesting. on. Israel, what are you going to carry on saying about this place? Uh, as you can see, uh, this madrasa it contains also mosque, um, mosque of Sultan Hassan. Um, uh, the mosque it's very unique uh, because it has a fountain. And the decoration of the mosque, it's very, very unique. Uh, it's, uh, make, um, uh, it's decorated with flowers and uh, also uh, inscription, like uh, Kofik inscription and uh, Nasq inscription. That's very interesting. Jenjanina, what do you add for the specialties? Uh, I want to discuss the place where we sat. Uh, we here can see the mosque of Muhammad Ali from the Citadel and also uh, the mosque of Rufai, which is built to be more attractive than uh, Sultan Hassan. But they can't 
do that. That's very sad. So since you're beginners, let me give you a little tip. You have to <laughs> always say when it was built. See, the, the, the whole point is saying that it dates back almost 750,000 years ago. And that oh, yeah. there are actually coffins here for Khedevi and No, the uh, coffin is in the sky. Yeah, well, that's where you said, see? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so... Um, I'm very inspired when I see seriously young generations wanting to make a difference. And it's not just, I want to have an ordinary job with a staple salary. I, I know I want to be able to be different. Um, I want to talk to you here, and I might be a little bit off topic, but um, I've noticed that most younger generations would shift to the use of social media and new technology. Um, many influencers, many YouTubers, and... Uh, uh, Inspired you as part of it? I mean, is it the fame more um, and being popular, um, or is it what is it exactly? Maybe you would tell me. I'm sure there's huge age difference between me and you. So, well, what would you what would you tell me about where this came about from? Um, um, in my opinion, we started this page not to be famous or something. We started this page to uh, to You're make very it humble. Ben are you? No, no. <laughs> you <know? laughs> to make it. Uh, more a uh, benefit to people to make them taste the beauty mm. of Egypt and, and that's why we called it taste Egypt yes well taste Egypt and I do uh, encourage everybody to actually go and peep into this profile and make sure that they do put in the dates and <laughs> all the information <laughs> oh, I'm just picking on you actually uh, um, unfortunately our time is up uh, it, Time has passed so quickly with you, ladies. I'd like to thank you once again, and good luck with um, your page and with your future. Angelina, Gamal, uh, Marina, uh, Sharobim, and Nisra Fauzi, uh, tour guides, and also members of the Taste Egypt Initiative, the first of its kind by young ladies, young tour guides. Thank you very much, and good luck. Yeah, I know you're going to be so driving much. back all to Alexandria, so <laughs> wish you a safe trip back. Maybe I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> and um, we'll be back right after this. Please stay tuned.